Hi, this is Ken Breeze with Visitors Television Network Northeast, and today we're with Ray Rickman, who's the senior consultant for the Rhode Island Black Heritage Society. How you doing, Ray? Wonderful. Uh, we're here at a uh, commemorative plaque that was put up for Ciceretta Jones. Um, could you explain who Ciceretta was? She was the greatest singer of her age. Um, she died in 1933 after unbelievable career. Uh, performing uh, before the Crown Princes of Europe, four Presidents of the United States. She was the Aretha Franklin of her day, and people can come and visit this fabulous plaque on South Court Street, just above Benefit in Providence. Uh, can you tell us maybe some other history, um, African American history of Rhode Island that you think might be worth visiting, other sites you might have around the area? So. Um, the very best thing to do is to come and take a tour from the Rhode Island Black Heritage Society and then we'll take them and show them the 30 places. But Edward Bannister, the first famous black artist in America, maybe in the world, uh, lived here in Providence. His house still stands. You can take people to um, see houses where Frederick Douglass came to visit and of course uh, the colored schoolhouse, uh, the segregated schoolhouse, but unique. Um, the meeting uh, house, which is the first school in Providence. Black folks had the first school in Providence. White folks didn't have one. Yeah. Now, I, I see you have a book here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this book? So this is the new book on Ciceretta Jones, and we're just thrilled because here she is in the shadows and forgotten. And this book brings her to life. You spoke to me a little bit about um, the tours that your society puts on. Could you just maybe give us a little more in-depth information as to what's included on those tours, things that you, you might cover? So normally people go to the Rhode Island Black Heritage uh, Society website. They call us or email us. Uh, most people can't dial anymore. They email us. <laughs> and they say, when's the next tour? And we say Saturday because we do about 24 of them a year. And hopefully they'll be here at the right time. If they're not, we do a private tour. If people have five or six people, we'll do a tour for them. And we take them, we, almost always we start at RISD and then we go up to Brown and we take them to the Brown University Hall, that fabulous edifice on the top of the hill, and tell them that slaves helped build that building. That's an eye opener for people in New England to know about slavery in Rhode Island. Now the one thing we tell everybody on the tours is there's no such thing as black history. It's interwoven. And people are always trying to segregate it. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. Well, Ray, thank you for uh, enlightening us on everything today and uh, just educating us a little more about uh, history. Not black or white history, just history in general. Thank you.